Hi, Brad, Tamlin, how are you? We're good, how are you? David. Good, how are you? Good evening. Good. Okay, you can begin. Um, we are here, I've submitted the uh, revised um, drawings from that you guys had looked at uh, two weeks ago and um, set them up uh, so that you could see the existing compared to the proposed side by side on the um, two sheets. Um, just a quick overview again of the idea of the uh, um, addition is that it's, uh, it, it uh, complements the existing gable second story on the um, east end of the house right now with another uh, roof line that replicates that and then a shed dormer that comes across both of them below half of it being um, a, uh, a living room addition and the other half being a covered open porch. And oh, picks up from it. I'm sorry, go ahead. Do you want to, can you post the drawing? Can, um, or Daisy, do you have it? I'm, I'm looking at my other screen. David, can you share your screen? Me? Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, David, can you share your screen? Um, how do I do? I don't have the draw. I I, I don't have. I the, have it. Let me Karen? just. Check. Thanks. Yeah. Is it the? It's the sorrows. Yes, three sixty one yeah. sorrows. Yep. Yeah. Revised. I have too many things open on my computer. Just hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can you see it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, can you guys all see that? Yes. Okay. So on the, on the first sheet, it, it basically is showing uh, first floor existing and the uh, first floor proposed is um, to the right of it. Um, above that is the second floor existing and then the second floor proposed. And then on the um, page two, it is the um, exterior elevations. And again, they're set up um, with the uh, existing conditions. Um, and the proposed side by side so that you can see all four elevations. And um, as you can see the you know, the main element of this is the um, gable addition. And as you can see on the existing conditions, there already is that element on the existing house. And we're adding another one so that it doesn't look like an anomaly down on the end. And then the um, shed roof below is tying the two together. And the shed complements the other shed, you know, roof on the um, uh, east end of the house on the uh, east, if you look at the existing uh, east elevation. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry, there you go. Um, and uh, so, you know, there, uh, both major elements of the addition are, you know, things that exist on the um, house right now. And again, the um, idea is to, use the shed addition and the shed open porch to make the addition sit down because from the um, east end of the, the view of the house, it's, um, it's very high. The grade falls away um, as it comes around the corner there from the south to the east. And so you see um, a great, ex you know, the, the emphasis there is really on the vertical. There's a great expansive house, um, <coughs> excuse me, almost three and a half stories high. So <clears throat> I thought it was important to bring the shed out onto the, um, uh, deck area and make those that new elements sit down as much as possible and it you know um, that shed helps that the way the shed on the uh, east end east side you know helps the uh, east elevation as well so it's it's a pretty simple concept um, is there and, way to, yeah. is there way to enlarge this at all and especially on I mean the last time we had the wood framing was like kissing up against the windows and is that yeah that that those, the, those so elements are gone they're all gone. Um, it's very simple. Um, uh, the open porch, the posts pick up on the uh, existing there, porch. Is there a way you can enlarge on that part of the drawing so we can all see it? I don't know about the rest of you, but I can't really. Yeah, hold on one second. Let's 
Uh, which one did you want to look at closer? Oops. The lower uh, right. Yeah, that's great. Um, right now uh there's yeah there's a little uh there's a shed off to the right there that's cut off um maybe you, there we go yep so um oh, there you go so again the um you know those the the post and trim detail um from two weeks ago is gone the um overhang is gone it's really um um, very simple and consistent all the way across the length of the shed. As it comes to the open porch, um, it picks up, up on those post details that exist on the house by the front door. Um, and as I said, the, you can see that the two main gable elements above that sit on the shed roof and are very comparable. Um, you can the live framing on the right, is that is that existing? Is that up against the windows? There's still one of those call like a Y framing that looks like it's right in front of a window. No, the, uh, there's a trim mullion between in the middle of the six windows and then the addition ends and then that post starts that is holding up the, um, you know, uh, roof of the uh, uh, covered porch to the right of the um, addition. So there's no post element in front of any windows. Um, those posts are eight feet off of the kitchen, you know, wall there. Um, they're structure to hold up the um, roof of the uh, um, covered porch and again as I said pick up on the um, elements of the by the front door in the, in the in the back of the house it looks like you're pushing the second floor out a little bit can you talk about that uh, yes Let me get back to the drawing here. Okay, if you go back to the, um, do you want to look at the plan first? Yeah, that's what I, I don't quite different. understand the plan. If you go up to the uh, first page, uh, Carrie. Yep. Yeah. Yep, a little bit more. Just let there. me know which section. Right, right there. The, okay. Those two. It yeah, looks so like, you know, the closet and laundry the, um, are being bumped out okay um if you look at the existing second floor you can see the width of the um um second you know story addition all the way on the east end and by replicating that if you go over to the proposed um you can see in the front that there are two similar gables and in the back um that line comes across, but there's an overhang. Um, it doesn't come all the way out um, uh, to the edge of the um, existing end of the house there because the chimney, there's an existing chimney there. So the floor plan lays it out in a way where it doesn't get, it doesn't intersect that chimney. It's pulled back in, but the roof line comes straight through. So between the chimney and the back of that um, laundry and the walk-in closet, is uh, overhang. If you look at the um, uh, north, uh, actually look at the east elevation, uh, um, you can see, I think, um, more clearly where that overhang is. Is that on the second page? That's on the second page, yes. So let me see. Um, so you, it's it all the like way, you have about all the way four foot eave hanging over the existing roof? Uh, yes, because we don't we don't want to intersect the um, the chimney there. I'm confused. the the west the proposed west elevation on the upper left of the second page. Where is the second floor line in that drawing that houses the laundry room and new closet? Okay, I'm having trouble. Um, now, uh, can you pull up the um, go to north the north? Here. North elevation, please. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the um, uh, on the proposed north elevation, 
right that roof line that is on the left over the existing second story addition right comes all the way through okay and is that where's the, where's the second floor in relation to that eve line where you have overhang written it's set back once it turns the corner there's a notation there that wall steps back um then uh it steps back four feet and if you look at the uh East elevation. Yeah, but no, no. Where, where I mean, is the where is the literal second floor, floor flooring line in that drawing? Uh, the floor level. You're saying yes. Yeah, it's um, it's basically where uh, you know approximately where the uh, where the eave line is to the right there, but this roof is in front of it. The uh, this the, the um, gable that's on the first floor there is in front is, is already existing it's proud of the um large second story addition to the left it's pulled out so this is filling in that you know there's there's a roof there that goes up a little bit higher than the roof to the right that's existing you, if you look at the uh existing condition there yeah, which is um, below it did we lose uh, the plan i don't oh never mind i see it now go all right so go to the if you could go to the upper left of the second floor uh, second page now move to the left. All right, so there, I see the word overhang. That's so it's correct. about four feet overhanging, engaging the chimney, right? But it doesn't, right. Do, that, it doesn't do that in the plan. Yes, it does. It, it, it carries all the way through um, because the, in order for that, um, gable element to be consistent and, ca and carry through on the same plane, then that eave line is not four feet in. It's out, you know, somewhere where you can see where it ends into, the, you know, two thirds back into the chimney. And okay. instead of bringing the wall all the way back there and having that wall sit, you know, hard against the chimney, right. we just held, we just held it back so that um, oh, I know, see. it's an overhang. And if you look at the plan, it's just basically four feet in from the plane of the um, existing uh, second story addition on the east end. And this is the best view. So if you see the, you see the overhang there and then you see the vertical line that drops down um, at the inside of the overhang, that is where that wall is on the plan. Right, that's, so, that's, so that's the, the, that's the second the floor level is about where that word overhang is pointing to? Um, well, it's not indicated on on here, but basically, if you, well, let me, it's hard for me to see. Hold on one second. It's probably lower. It's probably lower than that. The floor level is certainly yes. It's down near the bottom. It's the floor level is essentially um, right where the uh, eave is on the first floor of the. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. See what I mean? And that and that I comes mean, all the way through. Does anybody else find that four foot deep eave a little odd? Well, it just makes for a very, you know, kind of odd detail for the wall to be, you know, and the roof to be and have a cricket behind the chimney, have it all intersect that chimney and, you know, could potentially be, you know, a, a, a um, you know, flashing problem, you know, and so it just seemed to me that, you know, to make it cleaner it was just to hold that back. You certainly could, you know, run the, uh, you could run it all the way through then it would stick out another four feet and the uh, two eaves would look exactly the same on the north and the south. Yeah, I kind of agree with, um, it, 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 that does look like a tricky little detail. And it, I, don't, I don't know, I it just, I, I don't think I've ever seen that where the, the roof is just engaging that chimney and then there's just like nothing below it. But. Yeah, so if I, if I go to the lower right drawing of that same page, where you have it hatched in with the siding, that's actually about, no, oh, go up a little bit, sorry. Right, yeah, right there in the middle of the page. So where you have it hatched, that's sitting about 10 feet back from the elevation on the left, right? Is that, am I right? Uh, say that again, go ahead, I'm sorry. So where you have it hatched in the proposed north elevation, that oh, plane- okay. oh, you're, you're looking at the north elevation. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so yep. that, pl that plane is about, 10 feet back from the facade on the left, right? Am I right about that? It's about 10 feet back from the facade below it, the gable below it that the chimney comes out of. 
Right, but what about what about the existing facade on the to the left of that? That's correct. It's the same. You know, it's it's basically um, if you looked at the the facade on the left there, you see the two elements on the other side of the gable there, this short four foot section of wall there. Yeah. If if you brought the um, the wall consistently all the way through on the on the you know to make the uh, to get rid of that overhang. Then right. essentially that section there to the right of the, that small section to the right of the gable would, it, would it essentially pass, you know, be on the same plane and would pass all the way through, all the way across. But it, it, where it actually intersects is the, in the middle of the chimney, you see what I'm saying? Right. So it, it, it kind of puts the chimney half inside, half out. And, you know, that's kind of a tricky detail. So the idea was to keep it away from that. Right. So if you raise that eave, that four foot deep eave, so it wasn't four feet, then it right. wouldn't ma it wouldn't match up with the existing. Well, it would be on the same plane as the wall. Yes, it would not step back. Right. Yeah. So, so the language of the house is it basically has very small eaves, but in this elevation, you're in introducing this tremendous gargantuan eave. Uh, that's going to always be in shadow and. It's like a dark hole. It's it just to me. It just seems really, really odd, and I I think it's hard hard for the owners to grasp what that's going to look like just from these drawings. But I just find it extremely just bizarre. Uh, I, yeah, it's like it's, a little. It's like a little critter can get up there and go underneath and behind the chimney area on on that well, roof. You know, on that then existing we, roof. Well, then we'll, we will pull it out and make it flush, um, you know, let it come all the way through then. That's, you know, we'll just add a little bit more space to the, we'll just fill in a little bit behind the um, uh, laundry and, the, uh, and that walk-in closet. And that's an easy thing to do. Yeah, I, I almost think... Um, I'm, you know, that, I was just, uh, the, 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 the idea was just to try to avoid that tricky detail, but if um, if you'd like to see it go all the way through, um, we can certainly do that. Well, that entire that entire that entire roof chimney intersection is a tricky detail. Period. Even doing, right. Even. Messing I mean, up, you know that if you want to, you know, the idea was to to have the two um, um, gable, you know, the, the new addition match and be consistent with the existing east end of the house. And in order to, you know, to carry the roof plane through um, on the same plane, then obviously the ridge heights have to be the same and it all works out. If you step the roof down, if you step the roof back and have it the same pitch, then you're just gonna have a step in the ridge line and we were trying to avoid that. But- Or, so or that, you have a step in the eave line. Yeah, so we, we could easily, you know, take the plane on the back there on the north elevation, um, fill in the four feet, have it come straight through, and you would have an eave detail that is consistent on the front, you know, on the north and the south. And that, um, you know, we can, we'd be happy to do that for you. And you'll have to draw a little cricket up there, I think, too. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a little cricket behind the chimney and, yeah. uh, you know, but the, um, it would essentially be, you know, then essentially from left to right, it's all on the same plane on the north elevation, except for obviously the uh, the gable part that's sticking out. And then the gable below it, the chimney is, you know, 10 feet farther north. But um, we can fill that in and take it through. We'd be happy to do that and have a uh, nice consistent detail. And um, yeah, you know. my, my issue, and, and I hate, I really, really hate to send you back to redraw. It's just that these drawings are not coordinated at all. And it's it's kind of you know how are they not, how's it not coordinated? It's there, a hunt I, and peck. If you look at the proposed west elevation with the proposed north, uh, drag the sheet down a little bit. No, no, the other way. Sorry. So all right, that's good. So if you look at that, you know that four foot overhang that really bothers me. On the north elevation, it's below the gable, sitting proud, you know, of the chimney. If you look on the proposed west, it's the that ridge line is below the overhang. So I don't know which it is. You know, you have this real. It is just it's just a bizarre 
it's just a bizarre um, intersection of gables and chimney and you know I don't know exactly what the right answer is but I don't I particularly don't like this at all and I doubt the owner you know I'm just speaking for myself I don't think if this was actually built like that I think it, the owners would find it very odd. I think everyone should come over for a glass of wine and see this house so they can understand it. Yeah. So we don't have to keep going through this. No, I know, I know. And again, I just want to resolve this tonight. And I just- And I, I think well, the, you know, let's-, well, let's, let's this, show, this, this actually showed up, this West Elevation, I just quickly went back to look at the, the last submission. This West Elevation's new. So, I mean, I think we probably, we were focused on something else and we didn't really ever get to that that kind of back area. Right. So this this drawing's new, so it's something kind of new that we're saying as well. Oh, it wasn't there before? No, it wasn't. Oh. The west of the proposed west elevation. The, it was in the plans, um, but it's just, and we, we were looking at other things. I mean, if you'd be willing to make it a condition of the approval, we're happy to do it. So I, I you know, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, um, redraw it and submit it that way and have it come through on that plane. Guys, what do you think? I'm okay. I, you know, again, I don't want to send him back and come back two weeks later. I'm, if he fills it in, that's one answer. I don't know if it's the right answer, but I think it'll look a lot better. Well, I agree with you. I think that, the, you know, the drawings uh, can be confusing to read even to us professionals. I think there's a nice design sensitivity to what he's trying to do. I think we're probably gonna get into some kinks when you go to build this. So to the extent it can be worked out now and documented better, um, I certainly would support that. <clears throat> Anybody else in the group have comments? I agree. I think that um, um, I also, think you could you could just uh, resolve it just like Stanley suggested or I don't know I it's, it's it is true it's hard to judge when without proper documents but I also think that you it's it's really a nice design all throughout um, so I would I would rather resolve it this way that you could resubmit it and then uh, so you don't have to come back you know, that you, you, you make the changes. Yeah, I'm happy to do that for you, absolutely. So, so maybe you don't have to come back to us, but Tom just has to make sure that you've kind of followed this direction. Is that possible, Bob? Absolutely. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, generally they need to submit revised drawings and we need to see unless Tom is comfortable that he knows exactly what he's gonna get. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't wanna put him in an awkward position. I mean, it, right, it, right now it's basically just, it's, it would be changing that one wall and, um, you know, that's a simple fix and it, in, it maintains the integrity of the uh, proposed, you know, gable addition so that everything lines up all the way through um, front and back, um, roof planes, ridge heights, um, you know, the really, um, you know, the whole composition will remain and we'll just fix that one wall. Right. I just have to say that these drawings, and, and from day one, I just always found them not consistent with each other. So I was, I'm always confused and I'm still confused and I hope you can appreciate that. I mean, it's. I, I, I you know, I, I, I think, you know, I, I tried to represent, um, I went through, you know, measured everything, went through tons of photographs, looked at everything and, uh, tried to make it consistent, um, you know, side to side, and then try to present it in a way where, you know, the existing was um, adjacent to the proposed and. Um, right, listen, but they're, you know, they're, we, they're, in, they're, they're just, they just don't match up. To me, they're, they're, they're they, they don't really show the existing condition. Either the existing condition is right and the proposed is wrong or the proposed is wrong and the existing condition is right. They just don't match up. And to me, I, I don't under, I don't understand where that where you where that is the case because I the um, if like you I look said at, on the proposed west elevation on the little gable on the left the ridge is below the overhang if you look at the proposed north elevation that same ridge is slightly above the overhang right so, so it's, it's like I don't know which one is right 
and and either way it doesn't matter because it just you'll just get this really weird armpit of a detail um, well i i think that i think um the you know the the bigger picture here is that we're we're trying to do the right thing in terms of the look for the house and you know um get the get the elements in the house that exist give them the right proportion um i I think that it's an easy fix that um, we're more than willing to do is, you know, bring that roof, that um, that north wall through on the same plane. Um, I am totally happy to do it if you'd make that. Okay. No, I, I appreciate that you corrected the south elevation and you could you added a lot more detail that now makes sense. But unfortunately, it just now we're suddenly looking at the north elevation and the west <laughs> elevation and it's still not there. But, you know, I whatever. Bob, you think is the easiest way for them to get through this night? I'd rather. Well, look, well, the good news is we we do agree. I think that the design sensitivity is is good, and and we all support it. And we're gonna we're gonna see that you get approved. Um, but these drawings are the you know the agreement you have the contract with the with the town and with us, and and if it's not documented accurately, you know then there's always misinterpretations later. And also for your benefit and your clients. You know, when you talk to a contractor and you get pricing for stuff, if it's not drawn carefully, you're going to get hurt with change orders and surprises. So, you know, look, we're, we're doing these virtually. We're all from home. And I don't think it's going to slow down your approval process if we ask you to show us something cleaned up in two weeks. So I, I think that's probably the best thing to do. They're all virtual meetings. It's, it's I mean, I know, I, you're not the architect. I think you should express to the architect that these drawings go in front of professionals and we need to see professional level coordination and, and drawings and it's it's to me it's not there and it is going to cost you in the construction process drawings that aren't clear end up with change orders and and it gets expensive so so when's the next meeting on um, daisy is it two weeks or, or is it it is in two weeks it's on the 15th july 15th so if we can ask you to kind of, you know, take a look and clean up some of the discrepancies and inaccuracies and come back to us. Hopefully you'll be out in a couple of minutes if you can address them. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a, have a good four. Thanks guys. Have a good night. Easy. Should I, who should I bring in? Uh, next is going to be Chuck and, um, is Frank Alfredo? Sarah Dursa, she's a member of us. Yeah. Hi, sorry. Hi, Sarah. Is uh is Frank Albano, is he the yes. one after that then? Or no, just... they're both Chuck and him. So I'm assuming right. the third applicant is probably not on, right? Okay. They're coming in now. Thank you. So this is we only have one more? Well, we had three, but I think that um we don't have anyone else waiting in the waiting room. Hey, we're here. Okay. Oh. Hello, Chuck. Hi. Okay. Can you, share your, can you share your screen? Sure can. Thanks. I thought I could. Share screen. Share. There we go. <clears throat> um, let me do this. Oh, okay. Ready for me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, this is a uh, this property is at 200 South Bedford Road. Um, uh, on their way north here, we get to the intersection of 117 and 120. Uh, here is the Temple property. Um, there's a few houses along the west side of the street. This is the one we're working on, 200 South Greeley. Um, across the street is the con a condo complex. Um, and uh, a neighbor on this side of the drive and a neighbor up the hill <clears throat> on this side. Kind of hard to get a picture of any of these since they're so much higher than the road. This is 20 feet. This is probably 30 or 40 and further up you go, uh, the houses get further back and higher up the hill. Uh, but anyway, this particular property uh, kind of is a, uh, well, it's a starter house for this particular 
client, uh, Mr. Albano. He bought he bought it at 1950s house and he's renovating it. Uh, we're renovating this end of the house uh, where somebody had a garage and then a screened in porch and then they started putting roofs over it. And what we wanna do is extend this roof out and I'll show you this. Here is, here's, here's the section down here of the various pieces of roof that were garage and, and a patio. And this is the main roof, which we're going to extend. Um, and in the, in the design, this is the front elevation. We're working at this end, getting rid of the roof complex that was there, extending this roof to go completely out over the end of the house, as you see in this west elevation. And the rear elevation is similar. We're extending the existing roof out to that point, putting a gable at each end. Underneath this gable with a new window will be the kitchen. Um, we are changing a few windows here. We're adding a, a, a French door here, and we're changing windows in the upstairs bedrooms to exit windows um, to match. Well, these are casements now. We're doing a couple of casements that are legal egress windows on each end of this house. And just to give you an idea of what, we're, what it looks like, this is all this new rendered uh, work is the new addition. The roof is extended, the dormers go out and we have a little bump out for the garage. We've gotten the zoning board approval to extend this out four feet, which gives us more room in the garage for actually a car and a little laundry room that will go between this and the kitchen, which will be back here at the back end of the garage. Materials are gonna be similar to these materials, uh, as you can see here. That's it. We're, added, we're extending the garage and adding uh, a, a longer roof. I'm sorry, you say that the rendered skin on the building, is it going to be the same? Is it going to be different colors? Is it going to... Oh, same. It's going to match. As you can see here, that color is the color of the new siding, same vertical siding. So this end of the house will match the rest of the, the, the siding on the house. Here's a view from... Ooh, I can't get that. Um, here's the back view. Uh, the grade drops off considerably, but again, the siding of the house is a vertical siding uh, to the eave line or the spring line of the roof. And the green of the of the roof that's just on that on the front elevation. Yes, exactly. I I really didn't want to mimic it over here. This is not the primary elevation. This is the biggest part. This is all service. I wanted that to stay the same, although I didn't render it, but that that green will stay the same at that gable. There is no gable in the back. Um, there is no gable in the back. Uh, there it is. This is the back end of the house. The only gable, the only big gable is the front, and that's the one that stays green. These are just part of the house and not prominent. Pretty straightforward comments, pretty yeah. right? I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chuck. Thank good you. night. Have a good evening. Stay well. Thank you. Carrie? Uh, yes. Um, I just checked my emails. The third applicant didn't have the uh the zoom so he emailed me i just emailed him the meeting id and password so i'm just wondering okay if he's it gonna... should be that it's sid shloman okay i had nothing yet okay do we want to hold on five minutes guys okay sure. i'll have the plans ready just in case okay now, is anyone else having difficulty when I send it through calendar? 
No. Uh, sometimes this time we had to put a password in. Last time we didn't, so I had to scramble and find the password. But I found okay. it. unfortunately, Zoom keeps changing it that they're forcing passwords now. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just this is like the second time today that someone had trouble with the link that I'm sending through the calendar. So, oh, there he goes. Good. I said. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't have the link at all. Sorry. Thanks, Daisy. All right. Sure. All right. I'm going to. Uh, so, this is 57 Random Farms Drive. It's um, He's enlarging a deck, but it's a double deck. So, um, we thought he should come to the ARB. You see me and hear me? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. So this is the existing deck. It's in the rear of the house. Uh, there's a delay in echo, so I'll just bear with me. Um, so I have some photographs of the rear of the house. This is the deck itself now. For reference, I took some some houses in the neighborhood. Um, here's some aerial view. And basically we are enlarging the deck and making it a two level deck. So you can see the dotted line is the existing deck. And And the new deck you can see from the rear elevation is wider and a little bit deeper and two levels. And we had done a rendering where they're painting the house gray and doing gray deck, white railings with black balusters. And it, the deck is open underneath, there's gravel underneath and we're wrapping each column in white azac. What's the dimension of the columns? Are they thin? Are they thicker? What's sorry? You know the dimension of the posts. The columns are six by six each, and they're wrapped so they come out to about eight by eight. Okay, looks fine to me. Group comments? Anyone? No, I'm fine with it. Yeah, um, yeah, looks nice. Okay. Good. Okay, that was an easy one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, have a good night. Okay, okay that was an easy night. All right. Have a good uh, weekend, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>